Let me tell you a story about a cat named Mia. And out of all the cases this year, this one had the most twists and turns. Why? Because we had a cat who had post-traumatic stress disorder from a house fire. We had a family with post-traumatic stress, including Greg and Dina, the parents, and the kids, McKenna, Nicole, and Carissa. Where I was at before we met Jackson was that Mia was, she was gone. If she attacked, either McKenna or Dina one more time, she was a goner. She wasn't gonna be part of this family. Greg and Dina wasted no time telling me that Mia was so violent, especially towards their youngest child, McKenna, that uh, she would chase McKenna all around the house. McKenna had no choice but to actually take refuge in a closet. Now, I've worked with a lot of feral cats. Uh, there's two types, the kinds that come at you and the kinds that shut down and turn into kitty rocks. Mia turned into a rock. She turned into that almost feral state. I walk into that room, she's a kitty bump. She's underneath the covers and she is frozen solid. And that cat is experiencing the depth of post-traumatic stress. She allowed me to pick her up, put her in my lap, pet her. It was something that was so unexpected, I had to show Dina and Greg. It was an emotional experience to see someone that you want to be part of your family undergoing that stress and strain that she was undergoing. Things in the case of Mia went from the unknown to the unbelievable. I actually really felt like I needed to experience things from her eyes. So what I do, I put myself through a fire. Yeah, I was wearing fire gear, but let me tell you something, that's a changing experience. You go into a room, you can't see anything in front of you, you can't breathe the air, you don't know where the corners are, where the door is. You get completely claustrophobic, completely disoriented, and you're a human. You can ask for help. Mia couldn't do that. We were so focused on our own trauma that I don't think we identified the fact that Mia went through the same thing. And I think Jackson really helped bring that to light for us. All of my preparation, all of my experiences with this family and with Mia led me to the homework that I had to give these guys, all of them incredibly important. The first thing is she had to have a home just like everybody else. And that included putting beds in socially significant areas, scratchers in socially significant areas, making sure that she was invited into the main living space, just like the humans had couches and chairs. Mia needed a place to call her own and settle her scent. And finally, I wanted her to have cat TV that was of the utmost importance for her. And they came up with a sculpture of epic proportions, things that, that Mia could bat around, things that Mia could watch spin around. And she took to that thing beautifully. There is definitely peace in our home. And we've always wanted our kids to grow up with a family pet. Thank you, Jackson. You gave me back my cat.